you've been to Panama City Beach, Florida, if you have, you know that this place is amazing. And we're in Panama City Beach, Florida, stop number three on the Cheat Meal Road Trip. And we're in a place called Dee's Hangout. And the, and the head chef is a guy by the name of Dee Brown, and he's a culinary trained chef. I mean, his stuff is uh, the stuff that legends are made of. He's been here for years. I talked to somebody the other day, and they said, hey, he's been here for years, and everybody knows him. We're in Panama City Beach, Florida. This place is one of many ones. Hey, what's up? How you doing? And it's, it's a, it's, what, is it Friday night? Yes. It's Friday night, Panama City Beach, Florida. The weather is perfect. We're about to take some, down some amazing food on this stop. Let's go, let's go meet Chef D. Come on. Hey, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. I'm D. Nice to see you, man. Thanks coming in. Yeah, me too, man. So, this, Good is, to see you. this is Chef D. Hey, How you doing? How you doing? So, I talked to somebody today, uh -huh. and they said that you're a bunch around here. Well, man, you, that's nice to hear. You may not, you may not admit that, but they said you've been here for years. How long yep. have you been around here? I've been a born and raised here. Born and yes. raised? Yep. yep. So, tell me about your story, how you got here, what brought you here. Yeah, so, uh, you know, these hangout kind of came about. We were a catering business that uh, rented a little space down the road uh, that uh, we were going to use for a commissary kitchen. And uh, at the end of the summer, we said, look, I'm just going to go over here and watch football and drink beer all winter. And... Uh, and it turned into a little 20-seat restaurant, it grew to an 80-seat restaurant, it grew to a 130-seat restaurant. So we've been in business now for 11 years. Now, yeah, one thing I want to ask about uh -huh. before we go on yep. is that smoked tuna dip. Yep. I, I looked you up on the internet. Right. You need to check that out. Okay. What's the website? Uh, Smoketunadip.com. Smoketunadip.com. That's right. Easy. Tell me about how that came about. Well, it came about I was a chef of a Caribbean restaurant here on the beach. And uh, this was probably uh, 27 years ago. And uh, I was buying smoked tuna dip from a guy. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed away in the middle of summer. And I had to start making my own. And then people said, hey, will you make it for me? And it just kind of snowballed. And we've been making it ever since. It's the stuff legends are made of. That's what we've heard about. So thank you so much for having us. Hey, so thank you for coming in. I know it's a Friday night. Yeah. It's busy. Yeah. We're going to let you do your thing. Right. But we're going to enjoy some great Man, food. absolutely. Thank you. Hey, so thanks much. for being here. Good to see you. I know I say this all the time. What is that? Uh, the epicenter and where the magic happens, right? Shifty's already headed back that way. Let's go back to the kitchen. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. All right, wait, come on back. So we're kind of known for our collard greens. Wow. All right, and so we uh, we decided to make a batch here for you. All right, let's all right. do that. We call this for a hogwash. Oh. All right, it's uh, pork stock. We got some ham hocks in here. That's some good southern cooking right there. That's so we cook this good. down for about an hour uh -huh. to flavor flavor the stock. Right. And then we hand pick our collard greens. And uh, we got those ready to go in. And so we just, we cook about, we cook about 10, 10, 15 gallons of collard greens every day. Just dump it in there, man. <laughs> we got lots of black pepper. We got lots, cook we probably cook about uh, 15, 20 gallons collard greens every day and so this will cook and simmer we got black pepper kosher salt or a hot wash yeah and uh, we'll cook this down for about an hour and 45 minutes wow. for the nice and tender That's we'll bring it to a low simmer that de Let's plug my glasses up. <laughs> There we go, we'll let it roll, roll, roll and slow. Guys, this is the staff. What's up, guys? Our hot mom. These guys are here to cook for you. We got a nice dinner special tonight. It's a grilled redfish. It's going to be fresh asparagus and some sauteed crab meat on top for you guys. That's and then uh, we'll serve you guys some, some of our tuna dip and other appetites, some seared tuna. Oh, wow. Things like that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, All right. guys. All right. Thank you so up. much. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. All right. This is my wife, Brenda. With? Nice. Yep. She's taller than I am. Yeah, that's it. She is. <laughs> I got short man's complex. Are you guys ready to eat? We're ready to eat. All right, man. Come on. Let's get you something to eat. That's all right. That's awesome. We're, gonna re we're ready to eat. So I graduated CIA in 1988. And then uh, came back here. Been a chef ever since. Are you going to be a baseball player? For, yeah. <laughs> I was saying earlier, when you, when you talk about the, the Harvard uh -huh. of... Chefs, right? It's CIA. It is, you know, because everybody's there for the same reason, you know, learn how to learn how to cook, and uh, it's a it's a phenomenal place, you know. It's uh, beautiful. It's uh, right on the banks of the Hudson River, you know. It's uh, kind of picturesque, you know. But you're taught by the best chefs in the world, so you know. 
working chefs, right? Absolutely. Those chefs are working chefs. They own restaurants and stuff. Well, absolutely. They've been in the business for years. And I, so I think there's like 50 something, it's like 50 something master chefs in America. Like 40 of them are instructors there. So here you go. Just throw everything in the middle of the table here. Yeah. Uh, right here. Yep. Yeah, so here's the famous smoked tuna. And that's our two different flavors that we have on uh, today. We have our original flavor that has the green onions on it. And then we have our jalapeno ranch flavor, which everybody wow. really likes. Yes. Our Gulf Coast style crab cakes. Calamari, this is our sea crab soup that we're kind of known for. Wow. And then, here, and then our seared tuna, seared ahi tuna. Wow, look at this. And then this is our hang bang shrimp that we call it, served in a little uh, wasabi uh, slaw. That is okay. amazing. Right on, man. So, being from here your uh -huh. entire life, right? you you have this uh, love for the seafood. Absolutely. That's right. So, we kind of call this Southern Coastal Cajun. That's a great. Southern yeah. Coastal you have a corner on the market on that? Yeah, I don't know if we got a corner on the market, I but think so. we didn't want to be pigeonholed to say a Cajun <laughs> restaurant, even though we serve some Cajun items because we're close to New Orleans. Right. And so, uh, we kind of mix up. We do a little Asian flair like you see. And we actually just cook whatever the hell we want to. Yeah. <laughs> Southern Coastal Cajun. Yeah, like like our dinner special tonight you're going to have. We decided, hey, let's get some asparagus in. Let's get some fresh crab meat. Yeah. So you guys enjoy. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Right, I appreciate it so much. Well, do you want to beat Myron? like this I would have no problem doing that no problem but I'm sure this wow. is way worse you some. for you I don't Babe, know I need some of that down there that is so Same. good I am I'm eating one bite of it and then I'm passing it to you and I need one of these waters that was over there that was over it's over there now but now it's over here or over there oh my goodness what'd you have that oh, I need that I need that yeah. dude we're getting some down here and then we're passing it that way that way that way that way okay where is it it's, it's a bit spicy, but it's not crazy. Oh. Go. Right? This so Oh, there's slaw on the bottom. Yo. I had to dig in to find out. What are you doing? You, you lock your man down. This is going to be my dish and out spoon. Yeah? Where's that? Where's that spicy? You want this with? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. You want some of this? Oh, yeah. Can I squeeze lemon all over the crab cake? Please. What is this? Is that this? It's a uh, it's it's like fire spicy, shrimp. creamy shrimp. Chili sauce, we use a little bit of cream, um, uh, ginger, garlic, a little, little red crushed pepper. Oh, yeah. And then we use like a wasabi coleslaw, a wasabi dressing to put on the slaw. Yeah. I'm not kidding you. This is one of the top five things I've ever eaten. <laughs> oh man, I'd like to hear that. The shrimp? Yeah. yeah. You want to try Yeah. No, I've been, they needed to take it down there. So I was like, this is dangerous. Now your crab cake, on the other hand, uh -huh. is exquisite because it's not uh -huh. too mustardy, and I just want to have a yeah. whole one. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. Well, the Cajun ruby sauce, I think. Oh my gosh, so, so light and fluffy. Yeah. What is this? Ahi tuna. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like the best. Look how perfectly cooked that is. Where are you from? Are you kidding me? Isn't it? Oh yeah, of course. 
Central Arkansas. Well, I was actually raised in South Arkansas. Perfect, right? Mm. I was down about, about 45 miles south of Arkansas. You can tell it's fresh. We're a uh, Razorback fan. We're by the ocean. So my hey. best friend. <laughs> hey, so, he just asked me if I was a big Razorback fan. All right, so listen. Yeah. One of my best friends growing up is an All-American linebacker at Arkansas. He's in... TV and sports commentary. Just call him Marty. Can you pass me one of those yeah. waters yeah. that you haven't been drinking? Okay, so yeah. you do? Cajun crackers and oh uh, it's a saltine cracker that we uh, that we take and, and, and toss and uh, we make it like a um, salad oil and seasoning and then we actually toss it on the crackers give them a light bake again mm -hmm. and uh, to crisp them up and uh, it's got this uh, a seasoning mix on it. Mm -hmm. we'll I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to go ahead, I'm go ahead and take these home with me in <laughs> <laughs> my pocket. These are amazing. <laughs> Don't right, we're going to make some room for you guys. Don't take those away. I'm going to take those away. We're going to make a little room. We've got a lot of food coming. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one is going Oh, my God. So this is the bread for the Cajun platter and the etouffee. This is the shrimp etouffee. Oh. Goodness. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Two whole loaves of bread. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Bread for everybody. Tuna. This is this is a big thing. Show oh, the little that tuna dip. So if you guys are going to take it out of your way. Oh, we can take it. Too. Take it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. What is this? Tuna with sweet potato fries. Yes. Let me get this. I got it. This is amazing. Cajun butter. Okay. Oh my God. Do you want to really save those crackers? Oh. And then here's sauces for us. Make sure we have a sweet. You know you did it. You, you drink soup like that. Hey, everyone say what? What is? Seared rare. We call that Asian seared with a little Asian seasoning on the outside. That is amazing. Yeah. 
That's the agency. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going in for the, uh, what's this one over here? Oh That's pos- uh, that is uh, just, so you need to put some wasabi in there. Though. Wasabi? Yeah, mix a little wasabi in there. It's all good. A little green stuff. You got oh, to yeah, eat it. So Watch out now. Oh, that's a lot. You'll hurt himself here. Woo! That's a lot. Woo! Woo! Which and what's the, the other one? The other one's sweet chili. Sweet chili. Huh? All the sweet chili. Yeah. The sweet chili is favorite? Vegan. It's so good. And then, and then on that end, you know, we have our uh, shrimp etouffee. Yep. And then, uh, you got to try some of the collard greens. Yes. I want this. This is the collard greens. Yes. I think we saw you make it. Yep. And then uh, on that other plate, we call that our Cajun platter. All right, so you got fried catfish, you got chicken gumbo, you got shrimp etouffee and red beans and rice. Mm. You like that? Wow. Now, from Arkansas, oh, right? we yeah, always no, put pe- we call it pepper sauce. Pepper sauce, that's it. That's it. On Arkansas, we put pepper sauce on our, on our collard greens. Right. You do it just like this, mix it up. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This seared tuna is amazing. Like that? Right on. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, collard greens. I mean, really. We saw him make it. Have you tried some of the DEC? Oh, I'm about to drink this. Yeah, you like that? Okay, so house recipe, right? House, that's what we make that here in house. Uh, and uh, and so, you know, down, down here at Crystal, you make Crystal you Hot Sauce is one of the best selling hot sauces. Makes you want to slap And so, mom. we just made a recipe that kind you of... put the pepper sauce on there. It's so simple. It's so simple. We saw them making those. I gotta have another bottle. Yeah. Will you eat that? Let me see that bottle. Yes, sir. Pass down, pass down. So, do you have any of the DZ? No, not yet. Is that yours? Yeah, we make that here in house. So. It's okay. What, what I put it on? What's Anything. Back? It's like you use crystal hot sauce right there. Put it on your phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not overly hot. We're going for a flavor enhancer. That's good. Put it on some of that green. There you go. You make it in house? Yeah, make it right here. In that same kettle you uh, saw the greens too. And and also you can order your your smoked tuna, which we had. Yeah, absolutely. Smoke tuna. Smoke tuna. Dot uh, com. Are you coming here and buy? That's a southern staple, right? right. Yeah. Now you notice our hush puppies are all made fresh too. They're so, super unique. They're almost so, like Yeah, so they're like kind of. Send me some of those greens. Send me some of those. Send me some of those. I'm going to pass these down to you, right? Yeah. Pass these down to you. And that's a mini, mini crab cake. That's, that's, that's a mini oh crab cake. And we have fried oysters and grouper and uh, fried grouper. And here we go. That's a hush puppy, Josh. Charbroiled redfish, chocolate sauté crab fresh meat, asparagus, and garlic lemon butter sauce. Yes. And it's strawberry. These home fries. Oh, I like sweet fries? Yeah. yeah. Some people like chocolate cake. Some people like uh, just regular cake. So that's a that's a cookie crust, chocolate chip cookie crust oh. with a cream cheese. My favorite and chocolate pudding. Oh. Yeah. It's my absolute favorite. And then that's my mom's extra banana pudding. And then take a bite of it. How does it rank in the carrot cakes realm? I can't even talk right now. <laughs> it really reminds me of a uh, possum pie. Possum pie? Possum pie? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. yeah, that's very good. I'm going to have to that get in on that carrot cake well before you eat it all. Your mama made that. What's that? Uh, no, the key lime pie is making my mom drop off the carrot cake every now and then. I just got lucky tonight. Uh, my favorite. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna choose right now. That pudding is delicious. Banana pudding is delicious. That's been our that's been our family's recipe for. Are you married? I want to marry you. Your mom and the bring yeah. the carrot cake. That's the best thing ever. I am. And it's still warm. When I was a kid, my grandma made oh my gosh, four so layer delight. Did you hear that? Right. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Oh, it that's what we call mom chocolate delight. That's so good. Yeah. Instead of a pecan sandy crust like most people yeah, do, right, 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 we do a chocolate right. chip cookie crust. That key lime pie is delicious yeah, too. Good. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a secret recipe. It's my favorite. It's key right lime on the, is it's my right favorite. It's right on the side of the sweet condensed milk can. <laughs> right on, man.
It's banana pudding. It's one of my favorite things ever. And uh, Chef D has knocked it out of the park. Mm. What's good stuff? I was just saying we need to talk about the fact that Chip, he said, and I quote, my mama dropped this off. This is homemade carrot cake, which is, actually is my favorite. But what makes it even better is the fact that his mom just dropped it off. He's, and he said, from time to time, my mom dropped it off. And that's what's so good. You can feel her love in it. Good. It's good. This is my favorite. Hey, everybody. We'll see you now. Thank you, guys. He's saying to try the, the banana pudding. Tuesday for Red Wedding. Okay, all right. We'll see you then. Bye, y'all. Nice to meet you. I haven't had the lime yet. This is Elon Pilo. It's Grandma's, ain't it? No, There's you want to die. That's church potluck right there. That's church potluck, yes, sir. Church potluck right there. Yes, sir. Let me get you a There's some of the best. Yes, I did. It's delicious. It's amazing. Holy crap. Amazing. There could be like a summer so cheesecake. Yes. That's what that would be. And yeah. so sweet and rich and creamy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not even kidding you. I'm so full right now. From everything from the 12 appetizers to the 12 entree to all the desserts, these hang out. A lot of people where we're from come to Panama City Beach. A, a lot of people from all over America come to Panama City Beach. You need to come to Dee's Hangout and try this stuff. The cheap meal train is rolling on. This has been an amazing, amazing meal. And we're so glad you're part of it. Thanks so much for watching.